What's going on guys? Alex here, having a little walk about modern uh, Warsaw, Poland. I wanted to talk about pursuing danger as a means to mitigate danger. What do I mean by that? Doing dangerous things, doing more things that feel like risk, doing things that feel like a blind leap into uncertainty and feel extremely uncomfortable, doing things that feel edgy, doing things that invite criticism, doing things that invite rejection, doing things that feel dangerous as a way to make your life safer. Right now we're living in a very uncertain time. The economy is taking a nosedive, <laughs> although it's uh, perhaps not as bad as the media portrays because the media is full of crap. We are still faced with challenge that uh, I suppose we didn't have a couple of years ago. We're not even allowed to leave our homes in some parts of the world. So there, there is certainly challenge, there is certainly hardship out there. And a lot of it is psychological, obviously. So a lot of us are fighting our own psychologies, our own um, negative thoughts. That's the biggest demon, of course, is just the stuff we tell ourselves, the things we say in our heads to ourselves that holds us back. What do I mean by pursuing danger as a way to decrease the danger in your life. Well, look, we're living at a time where everyone is telling each other to play it safe and to um, use this time to find yourself and to, and to take a break from life. Meanwhile, your finances are into the red and fewer customers, fewer clients are showing up fewer job opportunities are revealing themselves, people are being made redundant, um, people are not buying as many things, the economy is not circulating as it did. I think it's a great thing to uh, pursue hobbies and I, and I encourage you to do that. But if that's the only thing, and if you're viewing this time, this phase that we're in, as a time to reflect, as a time to sit back, as a time to um, protect ourselves from the scary outdoors, I think you're mistaken. This is a time to get dangerous, more so than ever before. This is a crucial period where we need to act. We need to do that little bit more to create the same conditions as it was before. If you're in business for yourself, if you're a freelancer, if you run your own company, everything that made this company stable years ago, um, now requires you to do twice, if not three, if not four times the amount to create the same level of stability. And if you're looking to grow, my goodness, if you're looking to expand, if you're looking to raise the bar, you're going to have to do a lot more. You're going to have to do a lot more, but that doesn't mean that you want to be getting more busy. That doesn't mean that we're, that I'm encouraging you to just, to just do more stuff and, and, and burn yourself out and kind of completely run yourself down physically. The real results, the real rewards, as you've probably seen in your own life, come through... Oh gosh, I'm about to be pursued by someone because of uh, I'm carrying a camera around. I hope he doesn't catch me for that. Um, the real rewards come through taking things that feel like risks, taking actions that feel a bit dodgy. I'm a little bit concerned that this guy's going to stop me from filming. Um, but look, this is what I'm doing. This, this is a perfect example of taking a dangerous act. I could be sitting in a cafe over there drinking a nice warm cup of tea and eating a cake. Instead, I'm making films of myself in public. There are obviously da more dangerous things than this to do, but this is an example of the kinds of stuff we need to be doing more of in this time. We need to be getting our faces out there. We need to be getting uh, a sense of kind of feeling exposed and vulnerable. We need to be facing rejection. We need to be asking more people to to uh, get on calls with us and, ha and, ha and have coffees with and interact with other humans. We need to be doing more of what feels like a risk. And the more risky it is, the bigger the rewards tend to be. And when we start getting rewards in our life, when we start getting people saying yes to deals, when we start landing clients, when we start selling products, when we start um, creating new jobs for ourselves, What's that doing to your life? It's making your life more secure. It's making your life safer. It's protecting your family. It's protecting yourself. It's protecting your children. Be dangerous to mitigate danger in your life. Every 
step of the way, you need to be thinking to yourself, how can I live slightly more on edge here? How can I live a way that feels out of my comfort zone, that feels uncomfortable? And it's about coming to the acceptance that life isn't all hunky-dory and it isn't all fun and it isn't all love. There is gonna be some discomfort, but I can tell you this, a bit of danger is fun. You can enjoy danger. You can enjoy a life that's on the edge just a little bit. So this is what I implore you guys to do more of. Jump into the deep end, do things that feel strange, approach people, get rejected, um, do things that risk embarrassment, do things that risk, um, I wouldn't say like a full blown uh, risk of, re of losing your reputation type stuff, but you can flirt with that. Do things that um, risk you being laughed at. Do things that risk you making a mistake in front of other people. The more of this kind of stuff you can do, the more of the kinds of things you'll be doing that other people don't tend to do, and the more advantage you will get, the more of an unfair advantage you'll get. And the one thing that we need more than anything in this tough, in this tough economy, in this uh, COVID world, we need unfair advantages. We need to um, get as much market share as we can. We need to get as much, make as much ground as we can. We need to a kind of, what is it, acquire resources as best as we can. I know that sounds greedy, but I'm helping you guys, I hope. I'm helping you guys, or at least reminding many of you that this is a time to double down and um, this is not a time to, to sit back and relax. We have to do what's best for us, ourselves and our families. And uh, that requires flirting with danger. As always, comments below if you have an insight that you wanna share or a question for future videos. Do like this video if you liked it. Do subscribe and I will see you in the next video.